people's names on your radio program and your TV program, thinking you're doing God's service. You're not. You stink, frankly. That's the way I think about it. One verse that said, if you don't like him, kill him. I really wish I could find it. I remember a man in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, that turned into a snake before my eyes, and, and, and 2,000 people saw him. Only those who have been giving to God's work will be spared. Hallelujah. Now you can make checks payable, of course, to Benny Hinn Ministries. If you're using your credit cards, make sure to put your name, your account number, your expiration date, and sign what it says signature. When Benny Hinn's show moves on, he doesn't get to see the sadness of the families left in his wake. Laura Twilley's daughters write to their mother every week, still trying to understand how she could die after her miracle. Let's clear up a couple of things. First of all, about the cures. Do you cure people? Does the Lord cure through you? What really is it? Well, first of all, I don't cure anybody, Bill. I never said I did. At least this anointing. And I speak forth the word of deliverance. And I cast every demon out. You devil of cancer, diabetes, heart disease and AIDS, come out! He has stopped slinging his suit coat to spread God's anointing. His that lady who came with a tumor, and the tumor fell to the platform. I mean, it fell to the platform. We saw it with something else, and it broke in pieces right. as it hit the stage. But Your report has enabled me to become more careful. And remember what he told his own congregation after we questioned why he lived in a $700,000 home and drove a $100,000 Mercedes? Preachers who live in big homes and drive big cars are to re-examine their calling. And may I tell you something, God has taken me by the neck. But I'll tell you honestly, I think I'm going to quit preaching healing and start preaching Jesus. Eileen Ferguson, you are healed by the power of God. The disease, dear lady, has just died and you will live. The Lord has healed you. Jesus is healing. Well, there's so many miracles here, I can hardly keep up with them. On one side, Laura was telling them that I'm healed. You know, mommy's better. I'm not going to need the chemo and the radiation. But yet, on the other hand, when she died, that was the hardest thing for me to do, is to walk in that night and tell the girls that their mother was gone. I'm simply a minister that... Um likes to help individuals to build their faith so they can believe for healing. Yes, the Lord is the healer. And I've just made myself available. Does it matter that some people feel that you're a fraud? his ministry now rakes in twice as much as before more than two million dollars a month now a year ago he denounced miracles for money if i ever stood on a platform and said i have been to heaven and seen jesus leave my meeting the lord spoke to audibly and said tell benny i'm going to appear physically on the platform in his meetings mm. Lord, do it in Phoenix, it Arizona, in the name of Jesus. I want to see it. Tell me about your visit to heaven. How yeah. many visits have you had? Several, several. If I ever tell you I can take you to heaven with me to visit Jesus, leave the service. Suddenly, what appeared to be the bosom of the person appeared the face of Jesus. Most people have difficulty believing <laughs> yes that any human being can go to heaven and come back and talk about it yes that is true but seeing the results of your life on earth i've been with you i've i i've seen the incredible work you have in india yet some please forgive me simple-minded people 
have sat in meetings and listened to such nonsense of people telling them they have visited heaven and gone and talked to Abraham and had coffee with him. Let me tell you something. I've, I've seen angels myself for a whole year in my bedroom. I saw angels in 74. And every so often I still see them. I mean, I've had experiences with, with angels. They'll get your hair to stand up even with hairspray on it. A perfect healing. So they must be healed. Exactly. So if she's not healed, if she's not healed, uh, we yeah. have a problem. We have a problem. Do you know something about it that I don't know? Well, we know nobody called this woman's doctor before Benny ran and right. re-ran this miracle healing on TV. We know one of those children is not even hers. And we know the lady has what not been all? healed of AIDS because just this week, we had her tested to find out. But you also say you only put on television miracles, miracle healings, which have been medically verified and proven. You know, Bob, so all we want to do is see the basis on which you say that. We have done all that we can do as a ministry to open a department, to have people check. Do you remember the little boy named William in, in Las Vegas a couple of years ago? You made him a star. You were going to set up a trust fund for him. You were going to put him through university. Um, he was supposedly cured of blindness. He's not cured of blindness. We have a hot victims hotline where people call us with their stories and uh, the, the, the stories are endless of, of, of people who had loved ones die after they were proclaimed on television that they were healed, uh, have, having little children told that were, they were healed of hearing or eyesight or innumerable and then or the reason you weren't healed is you didn't give enough money. Absolutely I need a private plane. For the ministry, I, it's, it's, it's a necessity. It's, look, every man of God that I know today has a nice house. Not a luxury. I mean, if I should fly commercial, I would wear out. I was able to buy a beautiful Cessna Citation jet, cash. A few months later, bought another jet worth three times what that one was. A little bit later, bought a third jet. Bought them all three. I want to love and be loved. Call us now and say, I'm one of those planting a seed for uncommon favor for 12 months with God and man. We're rushing the world, by the way. And I've never claimed to be a messiah or anyone special. I'm a little messiah walking on earth, in other words. Tonight, the ministry of Benny Hinn responds to an iFiles investigation which revealed two heroin-related deaths within his ministry. After returning from California this week, Hinn spoke to his employees about the public revelations. He also sent someone to talk to our Tony Pipitone. Benny Hinn had agreed to talk to, to us in person about his church, but canceled after seeing our report last week. Instead, he sent a spokesman who says Hinn is upset about that report, a report on the role of heroin in the deaths of two employees. Those employees was David Delgado, one of Benny Hinn's personal assistants, the man helping Hinn into his jacket before a crusade appearance last year. This is video from last December on what would be his last trip with Pastor Hinn. At the time, an Orange County homicide investigator was looking to question Delgado about the source of heroin that just weeks earlier had killed another employee of World Outreach Church. man Hinn had trusted to babysit his children years ago, but the questioning never happened because by the end of 1997, Delgado too was dead, a result of heroin abuse. These eyes, I have never lied to you, never, I never will, I'd rather die than lie to God's people. The very first woman you brought up on stage in Albuquerque was presented by you as being cured, a miraculous walk. But we saw her walking and chatting with one of your staff before your show even okay. began. Let me tell you something. That woman was a fake. Though Hinn refuses to make his financial information public, he has said that every dollar given to his ministry goes to the work of the Lord. Be his home is this mansion overlooking the Pacific Ocean, built and paid for by his ministry. The ministry told us the mansion was its parsonage and a good investment. Travels in this private jet. According to documents we obtained, the ministry pays more than $112,000 a month to use the plane. This photo obtained by Dateline shows him getting out of a Mercedes SUV. And here he is driving a Mercedes convertible. Listen to what this former Hinn insider says. There was never one complete record 
that would suit the criteria for documented miracle healing. And that troubled me deeply. To me, this was a fraud. According to her husband, she left that auditorium instructed by your staff not to go ahead with her chemotherapy, her radiation, or even her pain relief before yeah, she'd like, been healed. I would like to know who the staff member was who said that to her. I place a curse on every man and every woman that will stretch his hand against this anointing. I curse that man who dares to speak a word against this ministry. I carried her over to my car and set her down. She was screaming. And when I went over to her, I, I didn't know exactly what happened. They said the, the car ran over her foot. Well, I just picked up her foot and put it in my hand. I said, Uncle Shadla Makasa, in the name of Jesus, you be made whole by the power of God. Well, I feel that same glory right now. I'm not ashamed of the Holy Ghost, folks. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not ashamed of the Holy Ghost. They begin to speak with other tongues. And darling, don't you think that's not unusual? That is an unusual response. I, when it happened to me, oh mercy, I was in a church. Everybody was talking in tongues. They had fluent tongues. Oh, they were and all I had inside of me was one little word floating around. Pookie poo. Pookie poo, and I thought, God, if I say pookie poo, I'll be destroyed. It'll be the end of my life if I end this. Everybody say, come on, man, turn it loose. Come on, you can do it. And I'm thinking, pookie poo, I can't say that. And finally, I just said, a pookie poo, he's got it, he's got it. And I mean, the whole crowd went wild. All I said, but it was very unusual response. And with that unusual response, I got filled with the Holy Ghost. I was not, it wasn't in the Bible anymore, it was walking around the church. It's pookie poo, pookie poo, pookie poo, I was just going like... Draw a little closer, put your hands out toward your television screen. Put your hands on mine. When I read in the Bible where he says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. Amen. That we're gods. I am a little god. Yes. Yes. I have the his name. God. I'm one with him. I'm in covenant relation. Yeah. I am a little god. Done. If your engine is not revving up, you know what you need? You need a Holy Ghost enema right up your rear end. Read what other people think. No, uh huh. Doesn't matter what they think. <laughs> oh, no more de esta pacaliado. Oh, let me have the passion opera. In a mamba, no more go long bone jamba. My name is Mori Via Castilla Cholo Soso. And <laughs> Dwight Thompson. Now be sure to get this straight. <laughs> Something. Wait till they come to Boston. <laughs> Toronto 
leave us to ourselves. Don't leave us to yes. our foolish thinking. Lord, we want all that you have, all, yes. all that you have. Yes. And Lord, if it blows our little minds, let them be blown. <laughs> Father, we want all of what you have, all of what you have. We thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he had a, God told me to look him, and I looked at him, and he had a tie on, and on, I don't know if he's here tonight, but he'll know, on the tie had a wolf howling at the moon. And the Lord said to me, will you howl for me? I said, don't ask me to do that, Lord. He said, if I ask you, will you do it? He said, if I can't ask you to do something in your own house, how are you going to do it out there? So, <laughs> Darling, hear me. Don't expect the miraculous until you're ready to do the ridiculous. And I can show you that from one end of Scripture to the other, that the miraculous came when the ridiculous was done. The Lord also tells me to tell you in the mid-90s, about 94, 95, no later than that, God will destroy the homosexual community of America. But he will not destroy it with what many minds have thought him to be. He will destroy it with fire. And many will turn and be saved, and many will rebel and be destroyed. The Spirit tells me Fidel Castro will die in the 90s. Oh my. Some will try to kill him and they will not succeed. But there will come a change in his physical health, and he will not stay in power. And Cuba will be visited of God. The hour is urgent. Many of you have known me for many years. But I'm telling you right now, things I hadn't said years and years and years, and years ago, I believe, hear this, hear this. I believe that Jesus, God's Son, is about to appear physically in meetings and to believers around the world to wake us up. He appeared after his resurrection and he's about to appear before his second coming. You know, a prophet has sent me a word through my wife right here. And she said, tell your husband that Jesus is going to physically appear in his meetings. I'm expecting to see, I'm telling you that, I feel it's going to happen. I, 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 I'm... I'm careful in how I'm saying it now because I know the people in Kenya are listening. I know deep in my soul something supernatural is going to happen in, Ni in Nairobi, Kenya. I feel that. I may very well come back and you and Jen are coming. To Paul and Jen are coming to Nairobi with me. But Paul, we may very well come back with footage of Jesus on the platform. You know that the Lord appeared in Romania recently, and there's a video of it, where the Lord appeared in the back of a church, and you see him on video walking down the aisle. Yeah.
Paul, do you remember when I came on TBN years ago and showed you a clip of the Lord appearing in our church in Orlando on the balcony on the wall? Yeah, you, you remember that? Very well. I, I saw it. That was 80, 80 something, 86, whatever. You know, I always wondered why the Lord, why did he do that? Do you know why now I look back? That was the beginning of the greatest move of God in our church. Because 83, 84, and, and 85 were horrible years for me. Horrible years. 86, the blessings of God began. But they began with, a, with, with this manifestation of the Lord's face on, on the balcony. That stayed for eight weeks. Eight solid weeks. The Lord has done this in the past. But He's about to do it again. Now hear this. I'm prophesying this. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, is about to appear physically in some churches and some meetings and to many of his people for one reason to tell you he is about to show up to wake up Jesus is coming saints 